Audrey. So if you watched my summer clothing haul video, then you know that I also wanted to do a summer beauty essentials video, and here it is. Most of these products are going to be skincare, just because I kind of like to focus on skincare as opposed to makeup during the summer. Don't really like to wear a lot of makeup anyway. Um, I think most of these products are going to be cruelty free and don't test on animals, but of course if I find any other information, I will put that in the description box down below. There's quite a few products that I want to talk about, so let's just get into the video. So the very first product, and I think the most important one I wanted to talk about, is sunscreen. The one I'm currently using at the moment is the Tarte Guard 30 Sunscreen Lotion from Tarte. I have a really hard time finding sunblock that doesn't leave a white cast on my skin because I am so tan, and this one doesn't do that. It also doesn't feel oily or have that strong sunscreen smell, so that's a thumbs up for me. Second, I actually have two more sunscreen products from the brand Color Science, but these I use as more makeup products because they are tinted. I put on their bronzing perfector, kind of how I would put on a BB cream with my fingers, and it just goes on super smooth, is not oily at all, and completely evens out my skin tone. So the fact that it's also a water resistant sunscreen with SPF 20 is just kind of a bonus. If I do end up feeling oily throughout the day, then I look to the brush on sunscreen from the same brand. This one is actually SPF 50, and I'm in the shade Tan. I just find this to be incredibly convenient because if I want to powder my face while I'm out, I don't have to bring a brush and powder. I can just bring this compact little tube. Both of these products also smell really nice, kind of like a citrus, I want to say. Next up is a product I cannot live without, and that is the Glossier Cherry Bomb.com. It says that it's a universal skin salve, but I just use it on my lips. It has a slight reddish tint to it, and I honestly feel like nothing ever really soothed my chap lips until I found this. Definitely my favorite product overall. While I usually just use that as my lip balm and nothing else, whenever I want to sport a color on my lips, I've really been into this box sent to me by Nude Sticks. I believe it's called the Babe Boss Faves Box. There are six colors in this box, a combo of matte, cream, and gel formulas, I think, as well as a little sharpener, and each of these are all colors that I would normally wear. Four of them are pretty neutral nude colors, two of them are more brown and the other two are more pink, and there's also a red and a darker burgundy color if you want to get a little bit more festive. Recently I've just kind of been bringing this everywhere with me because then I feel like I'm kind of prepared for whatever the occasion may be. They feel really moisturizing and comfortable to wear, which I think is really unique, especially for the matte colors. One thing that I've been getting into in the last year or so are hydrosols and face sprays, just to rehydrate my skin throughout the day. I have recently started using the Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist from Tarte, and while I would normally prefer to use something with less ingredients in it, I do really like how refreshing this feels on my face, and the cucumber scent just gets to me. Very, very summer. The next thing is going to be a sea salt hairspray, and I will admit that I only got this because it has the word mermaid on the bottle but I was pleasantly surprised to find that I actually like it. It has pretty much all natural, organic ingredients and smells very fresh to me. I spray this in my hair whenever I want to hold some waves that I might put in it with a curling iron or just to put some texture in my natural hair. Now, I love coconut oil all year round, but I especially love it in the summertime because I just think that coconut is the perfect summer scent. I've recently been using this coconut melt from the brand Kopari, and it's 100% organic, unrefined, pure coconut oil, so you can't really get any better than that. I use it for everything from just moisturizing to removing my makeup, but something I really like to use it for, especially when I travel, is as a bug repellent. The way that I do that is by mixing it with some essential oils, and here I have lavender and rosemary by the brand Twig and Petal. So what I do is I will use coconut oil as my carrier oil, and I kind of just eyeball how much I'm going to need into a bowl, and put a few drops of lavender or rosemary or both if you want, and mix it together. Once it's all mixed, I just put it on my skin, and I really like the way it smells. Lavender and rosemary are known to keep most bugs away because the scent is very overpowering to them. Up next is this cleanser I got from Glow Recipe, and I talked about this in my Instagram stories when the brand sent it to me. It's called the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser, so it does kind of have an unnatural blueberry scent to it, but I got over that once I tried it because I really felt like this was a great gel cleanser that was fantastic at removing my makeup, if I wore any that day. I usually do the oil cleansing method on a day-to-day -day basis, but that doesn't always feel the best for me, especially in the summer when I'm feeling really oily already. This cleanser just leaves my skin feeling really clean and really soft. 
Last is another one of my absolute favorite products to use all year round, and that is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. I don't really ever get breakouts, but I do get clogged pores, and this completely cleans them out. It's 100% natural calcium bentonite clay, and if you open up the jar, it just looks like powder. I'll take a little bit and mix it with some water until it turns into a paste, put it on my face, and then wash it off after it dries. It does leave my skin a bit red at first, but that goes away pretty quick, and I just feel like my skin looks a million times better after I use this. So that is going to be it for my Summer Beauty Essentials video. I hope you enjoyed and that you found it helpful, of course. If you end up trying out any of these products, then feel free to let me know what you think of them, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!